Hello and welcome to the Tom Photo channel. Today I'm investigating whether it's a good idea to switch off your camera's image stabilization when you use a tripod. Most commonly you are advised against using image stabilization or IS as I will call it from now on together with tripod because if the image is not shaking the IS is said to introduce movement. But how true is this? Can we measure it? To carry out the experiments, I photographed this nice pa uh, painting at different shutter speeds with and without the image stabilization on. The aperture will also vary and this will change the absolute sharpness of the image, but we only care about the relative sharpness, the IS versus no IS. So we'll be fine. Uh, first I use my trusty Fuji X-T30 and put an XF 18 to 55 mm lens in front of it. I set the focal length uh, to 55 millimeters and position the camera on a tripod one and a half meters away from the painting. ISO and white balance are also kept constant. I shoot JPEG with 100% uh, dynamic range. To minimize the camera shake I use electronic shutter and shutter release timer. Focusing is done only once for each shutter speed and switch to manual focusing before taking pictures, so I don't refocus between different shots at the same shutter speed. I will then take three photos at each shutter speed alternating between IS and no IS image in order to reduce any drift in conditions. Then I measure the Laplacian sharpness of all images, and I have previously made a video on how I do this. Uh, the link is underneath. When this is all done, we can plot shutter speed, um, which is the numbers next to the lines, or aperture, which is the x-axis, against the sharpness of the image, which is the y-axis. The blue line marks the IS on, whereas the red line marks the IS off. Note that the y-axis is not zero. Uh, the, the bottom part of the y-axis is not zero. I'm zooming in to better show you the differences you probably see that there aren't any big differences. At faster shutter speeds, which are still kind of slow, the IS makes no difference whatsoever. At slower shutter speeds, you will see the no IS images come out sharper, but only very marginally so. At the lowest shutter speed, the difference is gone again. You're probably wondering why there is a funny dip at the aperture value of 6.5. Well, this is a feature of the current lens. Watch my other video on Fujifilm lenses, the link is below, and you'll see that this comes up every time you test it. This is the image sharpness ratio. The IS on is divided by the IS off. The maximal difference for the IS effects is less than 2%, which is not very much. But now let's take a closer look um, by making box plots for each shutter speed. I don't want to drag you into understanding all about box plots. Suffice it to say that the box corresponds to variation between measurements and we are roughly wanting to see if the boxes overlap or not. With this in mind, our conclusion is that at, um, at the fast and slow shutter speed, the IS makes no difference. Only the middle shutter speed uh, came out different. For shutter speed 1.3, switching off the IS was a good idea. Shutter speed 4, gave us a too close to call situation. However, if anything, then leaving the IS on seemed to help just the tiniest bit. Apparently at this region of shutter speed, the system is sensitive to IS and it can go either way, more typically in the favor of no IS. Note that at, at the 1.5 second shutter speed, the IS made no difference. Why? Probably because the shutter was open for such a long time that whatever shaking the IS may have introduced when confused by the tripod was all over and done so quickly at the beginning of the exposure that it could not affect the overall result. Just like when you take a picture at night with a 10 minute shutter speed and the bird flies through between you, your camera and your object, you're not going to see any sign of the bird in the picture. The bird also did not make your picture any worse. Now, being careful scientists, we have to replicate our findings. For this, I switched to another camera, a Fujifilm X-T10, and I use a different lens, but exactly the same type. Now, I cannot go, uh, go to sh shutter speeds over one second, however, because X-T10 
has shutter uh, electronic shutter that will not go that far. However, I really want to use electronic shutter for this, this experiment. This time we're also taking five pictures with each setting, not three like we did before. Qualitatively, the results are very much the same, which is great. Again, we're seeing the fastest or slowest shutter speeds not differing in sharpness with or without the IS. Generally speaking, again, turning the IS off is a better idea, especially in the half a second to one second shutter speed region. However, the, uh, the, the worst sharpness reduction you'll face is under 2%. Note that as before, I did the experiment using the electronic shutter. Mechanical shutter is more likely to benefit from the IS even when using the tripod, which suge suggests that IS with tripods is probably even less of a problem than it is usually advertised. Let's look at the box plots too. The 1.6 shutter speed is slightly different from the 1.3 of uh, the previous experiment, so we cannot directly compare the two experiments. But roughly speaking, we are again seeing the benefit of no IS in the half a second to one second shutter speed region. This time, the neighboring shutter speeds of 4 and 8 have traded their box plot patterns compared to the previous experiment. Being neighboring values, however, this is not going to change our previous conclusions. Let us state that the shutter speeds longer than one tenth of a second are the instable territory, where it is not clear how much uh, uh, turning the IS off actually helps. Between half a second and one second, however, turning it off seems to help, and after that again, no effect. So we have a U-shaped dependency here. So, to sum it up, when you're working uh, with a 55mm or shorter focal length, then in practice you don't have to worry about the IS too much at all. About 2% quality reduction in the worst case is what you're looking at. It makes most sense to use IS between shutter speeds of uh, 0.5 to 1 second. Switch the IS off if you can and remember to. However, do it only if you are certain that you're not shaking the camera and there's absolutely no wind um, and you're using remote shutter release or timer release. In other situations, leave it switched on. Uh, note that I did not at all cover um, focal lengths over 55 millimeters in uh, today's talk. I also have to give you a fine print here. Lens technologies do differ. I cannot state that what I said is true for every lens in the world. I'll soon produce a video on how the IS affects larger telephoto lenses on the tripod to investigate further, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for listening to me. You can download a PDF version of my presentation from my website. The link is below. Have a great day and I hope to talk to you again soon.